Hi everyone, Dr. Tagari here with Avalon Laser in San Diego talking about laser hair removal. Now we get a lot of questions with laser hair removal, but the purpose of this video is to cut through five of the most common myths and misconceptions that we hear associated with laser hair removal. This is a huge part of our practice. We have a lot of experience with doing this. We've treated thousands of patients, so I hope this video is going to be informative and answer some of your common questions as well. First common myth is that laser hair removal is permanent. This is not true and the reason for that is because it targets the active hairs that you actually have at one time that are actively growing. Can it prevent future hair growth? Well that's not technically true because your body is constantly generating new tissue. The only tissue that doesn't really regenerate is generally going to be brain and to a large extent your spinal cord. Every other tissue is constantly growing and hair is no exception. So touch-ups are going to be needed maybe once every year, once every year, two years, depends on the person. Okay? Myth number two. Laser hair removal is painful. Now, this may have been true once upon a time. Technologies have become so good so quickly that we've actually been able to treat even teenagers and people who really do not have a lot of pain tolerance. Our technologies have become very, very good at numbing the skin and doing it very efficiently to make this an extremely comfortable process for you. The worst description we've heard is it feels like a rubber band is tapping against the skin. Next uh, myth is that it's only for women. Now you guys out there, you may know that this is absolutely not true. We get a lot of women. In fact, I've actually had some of our clients who brought their husbands in there saying, please take that gorilla hair off his back. I don't like it, he doesn't like it, let's do something about it. This is extremely common and the trend in culture is for men to also have less hair. Not like back in the old days where you know, you'd see Tom Selleck with his full chest full of hair. Nowadays, we basically follow the trends in society and women like to have their men hair free. Whether it's the back of the neck, or the shoulders, the chest, or the back of the abdomen. And we even get some bodybuilders who get laser hair removal so they're completely hairless before competitions. You guys know who you are. Next myth is only one session is required. And this is not true. As I was mentioning, the laser hair removal targets only hairs that are actively growing. And at one time, only about 15 to 20% of hairs are actively in that anagenic stage. Which means that when you target the skin with laser hair removal, only a fraction of the hairs are going to be targeted. This requires several different sessions to be done. An average of six, sometimes nine, depending on the body area and how much density of hair you have. And you may need more than that as touch-ups. This is going to depend from person to person. Finally, laser hair removal has a high risk of burns, scars. And this is not true at all. We've treated thousands of patients safely with all different skin types. And we can tell you that our safety record is second to none. I hope this video is useful. I hope you have a lot of additional questions for us. But I hope that these are a start for you to get some of the most common misconceptions out of the way. Hope to see you in the office soon.